Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, and this is Jess Tillman, and I'm bringing you today's announcements. For today's lunches, there will be a fantastic choice of Sloppy Joe's, Hawaiian pizza, pepperoni pizza, a deli turkey, and what a surprise, fajita style chicken. And now down to weather. Hi. For Wednesday's weather, we have a high of 71. A low of 51. It's going to be really stormy, so. It's raining. And thanks a lot for the weather news. And Craven is our new SAT word of the week. It's an adjective and it means to be timid, cowardly, have a lack of courage, or be spinless. And your example sentence today is the Craven mercenaries would not fight in the battle and fled. Knowledge. And Thanks. now let's go down to Anthony with a delay today from Fundraiser information video. Good morning, Comstock High School. It's your boy Ant the Don, the master. And we're back again with another delay the day announcement. So this week we will be delaying. Fourth hour, your fourth hour, whether you have chemistry, whether you have an English class, whether you don't have a class, find somewhere, put the money in a jar that has a fourth hour that's going on, so we can delay some time, get some free time in class, you know what I'm saying, talk to your friends, talk to your teachers, catch up on some work if you need to, so you know what I'm saying, make sure y'all turn in the change. Thank you from last week's donations, and let's move forward with this one. So you know what they say, that's my announcement. I'm Anthony. Remember, I'm Anthony, and continue to roll the dice. Thank you, Anthony. And now, let's hear the German word of the day. Hey, we're here today oh. with Tillman for today's <laughs> word of the day. Is it German word today? Uh, who knows? Uh, who knows word of the day? That'll make it more fun. All right, so Tillman, what do you got for us today? I had the word Güsseltschübe, and you didn't believe that it's a real I word. I still think it's made up. And uh, But he knew that there are umlaute in it. So, um... Two umlauter. So uh, let's show you the word again. And you guys tell me this doesn't look made up. As uh, if there are umlauter, it's German, but it's not really German. Some kind of German. It's Schweizerdeutsch, which is a German dialect that people speak in Switzerland, and they like like strange words. And Gizzle Tribble is their word, word for the garbage, garbage box. Gizzle Tribble. Like the garbage can? Garbage can, yeah. That sounds much better than garbage can. I mean, no, I still think it's made up, but that's okay. It's not. All right, so what's, maybe. so did anyone get that word? Unfortunately not. I had someone think it was um, from Turkey. That's not too bad because they also like to use like this food, this umlaute. But um, unfortunately, no one heard it right. But I saw it. it's not really in Google Translate, so um, they don't know Schweizer Deutsch, I guess. But I have a new word for you. And what is today's word? And I gave you a little hint today. I got that word from Mr. Kramer. So thanks to Mr. Kramer. So probably you have a guess which language it is. And it is, I have to. I have to look it up because I can't remember. We have Napenda, Sana, Kula, Shakula. We got like a whole paragraph going on here. Yeah. Sha, M, Shana, Shangu. Uh, Rafiki Yang. So long. It's one sentence, and it's one little sentence. And I know that you all love doing that during your break in comes of high school, doing your lunch break. I'm pretty sure you really enjoy that. And um, I think that's a German word or the whatever it is word. And if you know it, please text me and include your teacher and you can get some German chocolate. And right now, I carry my favorite German chocolate with me, Theodora. It's pretty good, so if you get it today, you get a piece of that. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, and that's been the German word. Uh, we'll see you later. All right, back to you. Seventh hour teacher name. 
and you will get candy. And you ruined it! Oh no, not no, again! No, no, no. Oh no! Oh. Better word house! Oh no, not. Bye, Tillman! Oh. And thanks for that interesting foreign word. And juniors and seniors, please remember tickets for prom are on sale, still doing both lunches in the cafeteria or in the attendance office. It's still $40 per ticket and it's the last week to buy the tickets. So this Friday is the due date for the tickets and for the delay today from Poundraiser. And also, if you want to bring a guest that is not a student of Comstock High School, then please um, keep in mind that you have to get a guest pass from a steward. And that's also due May 3rd. And now let's head on over to sports and see what our wonderful Colts accomplished. So down to sports with the special guest, Anthony, me. We'll be doing sports. So first, in track news, last Wednesday, the boys started off strong, taking first and second in 100 meter with Tyler Wright with an 11.64 and Evan Bean Heights with 11.81. The strength continued into the 200, also with Tyler Wright with a 23.22 and Adrian White with a 24.36, again securing first and second places. Joshua Towns made his debut with the PR of 58.87 in the 400 meter dash. In the 4x2, Adrian White, Renard Whitehead, Evan Bean Heights, and Tyler Wright with a time of 1 minute 34 seconds, 0. 0.75. And in the 800 meter, Alex took third with 2 minutes and 17 seconds. The boys 4x4 team, Ray Little, Alex, Carl Owens, and Evan Bean Heights finished with the second place with a minute with a time of 3 minutes and 49 seconds. Comstock again will be in field events taking three first places in high jump. Bernard Whitehead with 5'8", Pole Vault, Zach Perkins with 9'6", and long jump, Bernard Whitehead with 18'10". On the girls' side of things, freshman Gianna Nathaniel took third place in the 100 meter with a time of 13'93", and second in 200 with a PR of 28.93. Taz Smith took first in the 100 meter hurdles with a time of 19'10", and second in 200 meter hurdles with 55-30. The girls 4x1 team with Gianna Nathaniel, Dejanae Reed, Ariana Sykes, and Nari McPherson also made their mark, taking second with a time of 55.89. In field events, Shamaya Dub took third place in shot puck with a throw of 25-10. On Friday, Comstock varsity track team participated in that school craft invitational along with eight other teams from the Kalamazoo region, D1 through D4. Despite high winds and chiller temperatures, our athletes remain solid soldiers. On the boys' side, Tyler Wright took first, and Evan Vinheis second, representing Comstock well in the 100 meter dash. Also in the tech in 200 meters was Tyler Wright first, and Adrian White second. The four by one team consisting of Adrian White, Evan Vinheis, Ray Little, Tyler Wright took first with a time of 45.98. The four by two relay team, Ed, Adrian White, Bernard Whitehead, Ed, Evan Vinheis, Tyler Wright took first with a time of one minute 36 seconds flat. In the field events, Renard took third with both high jump and long jump. On the freshman side, Kyla Owens PR with a 200 meter dash with a time of 30.6. Also, also, freshman Taz Smith taking fourth with a 100 high hurdle meter dash with 18.95. Finally, with the four by one coming in second and the four by two coming in third, Gianni Thane, Dijon Reed, Kyla Owens, and Nari was the races that you did not want to miss on the girls' side. In women's tennis, your Lady Coast tennis team played at the Kalamazoo College on Saturday in the Kalamazoo Christian Tennis Tournament, winning first place out of eight teams. In one singles was Comstock Emily Dawson, picking up second place trophy at two singles was Franca, losing in a dramatic tie-breaking. Winning two of their three matches was the doubles team of Sammy Bogoma and Alexis Hofaker. Join us tonight for our final home match and senior night. In women's soccer, the Colts lost Friday Against Schoolcraft 62. Scoring for the Colts was Maya Dion Foster and Julia Chris. In women's softball, Comstock went 0 2 at Lawrence on Thursday night, losing 3 4 and 6 8, respectively. Maddie Caswell pitched the first game, striking out 8, but it wasn't enough for a comeback. Colts could only muster two hits in the game, with Brianna Tiffany getting one and Abby House getting the other. In game two, the Colts led three innings, but had an injury on, injury on the field to make some substitutions. Brianna Piff Tiffany pitched in the contest, and the Colts hit better in the game with nine hits. However, there was not enough as the game was called to do a low light. 
Paulson Caswell led the way with two hits. Corey LeBrie also had a solo home run on the fourth pitch of the first inning. And Katie Smith, Natalie Carroll, and Carol Ballesteros all recorded hits. In golf news, on a pleasant night of golf, the Comstock boys traveled to the Indian Lake Hills of the golf course to play in their third conference jamboree of the season. Improving by 22 strokes since their last jamboree, the coach shot a 213, which is good for fourth place. Leading was Logan Hicks with a personal best of 4-6. Also shooting their best was Matt Searles with 53, Jeff Koss with 56, Carter Wentz with the 58, and not too far behind him was Hunter DeLeon coming along with a 59, and Doug Dotson, who also shot his personal best of 64. The Colts take on their first 18-hole tournament at Eastern Hills this next Friday. So, back to you guys. And there's been the double BNC announcements. I know you said that it's over now, but I promise I will be back tomorrow. And um, see, see you later. <laughs> <laughs>